I never say I'm the best at this. I've just been doing it for a long time. <laughs> Hello, my name's Will, and what I do is, I do a lot of videos around personal safety to do with staff. And that incorporates our main subject of workplace violence. Now what I also do is, I review a lot of equipment for colleagues or staff um, or clients. And I also then get asked a lot of questions about staff safety. And every now and again, I basically put a short video together like now, um, highlighting what the current uh, topic is at the time. like. At the moment, one of the current topics that I'm talking a lot about since the beginning of the year, which is 2022, is I'm talking a lot about CCTV. Now, I've done videos on CCTV and why we need it, and I've also uh, done a lot around CCTV operators, uh, because for a lot of CCTV sites, I am a compliance officer, which I go in and make sure everyone's operating correctly. But what I've been getting a lot lately is a lot of, uh, shall we say, clients coming to us and saying, well, we actually have staff that don't operate the camera, but they are responsible for it. So for instance, they might be monitoring it a little bit, or they might be giving, shall we say, data over to the uh, police or uh, some form of agency, or they might be responsible for, shall we say, the installation of it. Now, what I try to do is I put a package together usually, and I spend about three hours with them, uh, whether it's face-to-face -face or online. And I talk a lot to staff about the importance of understanding the security of data. It's like I talk a lot about the ICO. A lot of organisations don't know who the ICO are, Information Commissioner's Office. And I talk a lot about well, the importance of, say, things like signage, of positioning of cameras. Are our cameras looking on, shall we say, uh, into anybody's private home? I talk a lot about GDPR. I talk a lot about freedom of information. And also then on to Human Rights, uh, Article 8. But what I try to do is put across the importance of the security of the data. And it shouldn't be like viewed by people that shouldn't be looking at it. And it shouldn't be, shall we, handed over to somebody. And even recently, um, I've had staff that have openly admitted that they've handed, shall we say, data over to some outside agency and never even got a receipt from it. In fact, just before Christmas, uh, when I was involved uh, uh, looking into an incident, uh, one of the staff actually said to me that they actually gave the footage to a member of the police but don't know who it was they actually gave it to because they never got a receipt which is quite serious and then I talk about yes okay you can have breaches like where the footage has gone or shall I say as who's seen it or it's been used in shall we say uh, an unacceptable manner which could have been shall we say put on to say some format like uh, YouTube so I talk a lot about things like even I talk about the surveillance uh, camera commissioner and talk about the shall we say the guidance that you can download or I talk about the template you can download which is a word document and all these documents I talk about from the ICO to the surveillance commissioner and I talk about they're all free they don't cost anything you just put it into Google and the search and you find it and you download it and you read it and what I've found more interesting that's why I've done the video is I've, I've done about uh, three sessions uh, this year I did a lot last year but three sessions already this year to actual three different organizations on the importance of CC CCTV awareness for the staff and the feedback was great which I love the feedback was really interesting in fact I had one booked in for three hours and it ended up nearly three and a half going on nearly four hours because they're all intrigued and asking questions and it was good because they weren't asking questions shall we say to protect oneself they were actually protecting the company and they were thinking of ideas and different methods and making sure they lock the rooms down and making sure they have the right paperwork in place so if you're an organisation that does have staff that, shall we say, uh, has some form of contact or responsibility within the organisational uh, CCTV, trust me on this. Get your staff to be trained. Do it yourself if you want internally, sit them down and go through the prospects of it and the importance of understanding of it, or better still, get an expert in. Get somebody in the organisation like me. There's plenty of us out there. I always recommend other people to watch videos and there's better people that make better videos than me and I also say there's even more experts than me. I never say I'm the best at this. I've just been doing it for a long time. People that know me know I really want to retire sometimes. So, again, got any questions, get in touch with us here at Quell. Go through uh, our LinkedIn if you want to, get in touch with me through there. Email us direct at info at Quell Training. Follow some of our YouTube videos on our Quell Training uh, page. And you never know, we might tell you something that you're unaware of. Stay safe, whatever you're doing. Bye for now.